Boxes come in many shapes, colors, and sizes. In fact, there are over 30 species of boxes. They live all over the world, populating most of the northern hemisphere. The common gray fox is one of the most interesting of all the foxes. With their ability to climb trees and their round pupils, they are slightly different from their other fox cousins. The scientific name for gray foxes is Eurocyon cinereo argentis. They are not one of the 12 true type foxes, however their genes suggest that they are just as old if not older. Gray foxes are known throughout the world as the common gray fox, gray fox spelt with an A, American, gray fox spelt with an E, English. They are also known as tree fox and maned foxes. Let's dive into the behavior, social habits, and habitats of the common gray fox. Hey there, I'm Chad Fox. Today we're going to talk about the behavior and habitats of gray foxes. Let's get it. Gray foxes are more reclusive than other foxes. Their peppered gray fur helps them blend in with trees and shrubs. Their ability to stand still is a great survival mechanism that helps them blend into the landscape and avoid predators. Gray foxes prefer wooded areas that have a lot of brush and trees that they can hide in. A forest is an ecosystem that provides everything that a gray fox needs to survive. Gray foxes will also build their dens in abandoned field and farmland as well as coastal bluffs, they originally believed to have been isolated on islands, which separates them from their true fox family. One of the many fascinating things about gray foxes is their ability to climb trees. Gray foxes have partially retractable claws, which help them stick into the bark to climb up and down with ease. This is different than other foxes who have only partially retractable claws. Although it's not that uncommon for a red fox to be seen climbing a tree or sleeping in a tree either. These partially retractable claws help them navigate and maneuver through thick wooded areas and steep mountainsides. Fox Communications Gray foxes communicate a number of ways, with fox calls, tail communication, and chemical communication. Each fox call has a different meaning, an angry howl or a hungry screech. Gray foxes also signal with their tails to say, hey, stay away from here, or there's food buried here. The hair will also stand up on the backs of their neck when they get scared or frightened. Gray fox babies. Gray fox babies are called kits, K-I-T-S. Gray fox litters usually only have two to four kits. This is much smaller than red foxes and arctic foxes who have between eight and ten kits. The gestation period for a gray fox is about two months. They have their kits inside the den where the female vixen will raise them. Eventually they make it out of the den and learn how to hunt for food before going out to start a family of their own after about one year. Gray fox colors. Gray foxes do not have as many color morphs as red foxes and arctic foxes. They pretty much have a peppered gray body with some red, white, and black accents. Their bodies are usually a salt and peppered gray color. They also will have red and white on their faces, chests, and bellies. Gray foxes have black stripes down their back and tail. They also have a black tipped tail. This makes it very easy to tell them apart from red foxes who have white tipped tails. Average size and weight. Gray foxes are a medium sized fox. Not as small as their desert cousins, but not as large as red foxes either. Gray foxes are about three feet long and weigh about 10 to 15 pounds. Their small stature allows them to crouch down low and avoid detection. Their small frame also makes it easier for them to climb trees, which has earned them the name tree fox. Gray Fox Predators 
The gray fox has a few predators, such as raptor birds like owls and eagles. They also share territory with wild dogs like coyotes. Many foxes have been killed through territory battles with coyotes. Gray foxes will sometimes be preyed on by wild dogs, badgers, and more. Badgers will attack a den and steal fox kits who cannot defend themselves. This is another reason the gray fox has adapted to using camouflage for survival. Their appearance helps them blend into the landscape, where they will then sit for hours until it's safe again. Gray Fox Diet The gray fox eats a variety of small game mammals, such as rabbits, rodents, as well as vegetation and fruits that they find. The vegetation they eat is seasonal, eating berries just before the fall. They will also eat from carrion, which is carcasses left over by other carnivores in the area. And finally, gray foxes versus red foxes. So what are some differences between gray foxes and red foxes? Well, to start, red foxes are quite a bit larger than gray foxes. Gray foxes are a medium-sized fox. They weigh 10 to 15 pounds and are about 3 feet long. Red foxes, on the other hand, get 20 to 30 pounds and are a little bit larger, probably by about 5 pounds or so. Red foxes can run much faster than gray foxes, but gray foxes have mastered the art of staying silent. Rather than run, they will sit and wait out their opponent. As mentioned before, sometimes it can be hard to tell the difference between a gray fox and a red fox. A red fox has a white tipped tail. A gray fox has a black stripe down his back and a black tipped tail. This is how you can tell the two apart. Gray foxes also have slightly wider faces than red foxes. Gray foxes are thought to be the only foxes that actually climb trees. This is what got them their name, tree foxes. However, some red foxes have been filmed climbing trees and sleeping in trees as well. The partially retractable claws on gray foxes allow them to maneuver up and down a little bit more quickly than red foxes. Well, that's it for today, guys. If you found this information useful or interesting, consider liking this video and subscribing to our channel. Also, be sure to check out allthingsfoxes.com for more fox information and cool things like shirts, coffee mugs, and fox beanies. Until next time.